According to experts, around 8,000 B.C., we were primarily hunter-gatherers, nomadic, unorganized clans who had only the most rudimentary stone tools. Oh, by the way, we built the pyramids. <laughs> no. None of that. In fact, the archaeologists say not only that the pyramids built, uh, that the Egyptians built the pyramids, but they say that they built them as tombs. Okay. What's the evidence? Zero. Zilch. Not one, pyra not one pyramid was ever found to host a mummy. Not one mummy was ever found in a pyramid. Not one. And I'm not just talking about Egypt. I'm talking about all around the world. You know? That's all logical. Pyramids were not tombs. Pyramids were not built by Egyptians. No Egyptian text talks about the Egyptians building the pyramids. The texts do talk about monuments, enormous monuments being built. And who they say built them was the sun god. The Mayans, the Incas, the Chinese, the Japanese, all cultures that have these buildings, none of them say we built it. All of them say the sun gods taught us how to build, how to talk, how to write, how to do all this stuff. This is an ancient, ancient symbol that was found on a granite pillar in uh, Abydos, Egypt, in a temple called the Osarian Temple. Why is it that this object, this drawing, which is on the 100-ton pink pillar in the middle of that temple, is not in any picture books or history books anywhere or archaeologic books anywhere. It took me 10 years of research to go through all the books that were written on the Azarian Temple from the first papers that were published from the archaeologists that found the temple to eventually, you know, all the papers and the books that were written. None of them had this picture in it. The way I got this picture is that a friend of mine went out there and took it. Okay? Why is it that this picture is not in there? I'll tell you why. Because this graphic is not carved into the rock. It's not etched into the <coughs> rock. This graphic is actually burnt, laser burnt, into the atomic structure of that pillar. Now, when you think of ancient civilization 5,000 years ago, you don't expect them to be doing laser burn on, you know, hard surfaces at high levels of accuracy. Okay? Archaeologists have a really hard time explaining these things. When they can explain something, usually the tendency is not to popularize it. So they leave it out. Some of these uh, symbols that are in the Arzarian temple, there's, a, there's no writing in all of that temple. Not one piece of writing. All there is is these things. There's a few of them. Some of them are chipped. Well, the laser burn is through the rock. So that actually, even if you chip it, it still appears on the rock. We have no current technology to reproduce this. That's why you don't find this in history books. The other thing is that the Azarian Temple is 50 feet below all the other temples at Abydos. The archaeologists 
tried to say, oh, the Egyptian dug 50 feet and then started building. Well, the Egyptian never did that to any other building. And actually, when the geologists went there, they went, no, that's not the case. The building was there and sedimentation piled up beside it. Well, they, when they calculate how long it would take to get 50 feet of sedimentation, that temple is no longer four to 5,000 years old. That temple is nine to 12,000 years old, maybe 10,000 years old. That's why archaeologists really don't like that temple. <laughs> In fact, they very rarely discuss it. According to experts, around 8,000 BC, we were primarily hunter-gatherers, nomadic, unorganized clans who had only the most rudimentary stone tools.